Good evening, everybody, and welcome to stream number eight of my Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories playthrough. Hope everybody is well. In the previous episode, we had just got through Twilight Town, and we had defeated the boss at the end. I think it was... What was his name? Was it Vic Vixen? I think it was Vixen. And... Yeah, we struggled a bit against that boss. Uh, we managed to get through it. Uh, now, I believe where we saved was actually right at the end of Twilight Town. So I think we're actually going to head in tonight and jump straight back into Castle Oblivion, making our way to the 12th floor, which I do believe we are probably getting relatively close now to the top of the castle. Just for the simple fact that we just visited a place that we haven't been to before in the original game so yeah i'm um, really excited to see where we go from here and um, i say assuming that we are uh, gonna be uh, going into a new area we will prepare ourselves just for that and just making some final checks, but without further ado, let us begin. Hey, Ferris. How you doing? Good to see you. Hope the week's treated you well. Hello. Also, Deathwish. What is going on, my man? Welcome, Let me, welcome. Uh, switch volume controls to my headset. Okay. Well, we're probably going to go into story time, so while you're busy doing that, I will jump right in. Nice work. I say good riddance to that blabbermouth. Marluxia, you used Vexen to test Sora's strength, didn't you? Not just Sora's, it was yours too. We weren't sure if you actually had it in your bones to take out a fellow member. Well, I guess that you did. It's time to join up. Taking over the organization will be like child's play with the three of us. So that's where Sora comes in. Of course. He wants to see Namine, so why don't we just give him what he wants? Rejoice, Namine. The time is near for you to meet the hero that you've been longing for. I'm glad. But I'm warning you. You better not do anything to betray Sora's feelings. Do you understand me, little one? I understand. All you need do is layer Sora's memories and bring his heart closer to you. Even if you come for me, what then? Oh, Riku! You'll hurt Naminé if you go further. Oh. You still want to fight? But Vexen's gone, so now you're free! It doesn't matter what happens to him. I'm protecting Naminé from you. That's what's in my heart. Sora, I made a promise to Naminé. I promised to keep her safe. You did? There was a meteor shower. This one night when she and I were little. <sighs> Naminé got scared and said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I told her, if a shooting star comes this way, I will protect you. You made a promise with a toy sword. What? How do you know about that? Because that was the promise I made to her that night. I would protect her. I said it. 
Don't lie. You weren't the one there that night. You're the one who wasn't there. That was when she gave her good luck charm to me. Her what? See? <gasps> Tell me. Where did you get that? <laughs> Sora. Good try. Huh? That must be a fake. I've got the real one right here. Well, two of them? Fake should be destroyed. Here we go. Third time of taking this dude on. Jeez. How you doing, Deathwish? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, how you doing, my friend? We're good, thanks. How was your weekend? Fire. Ah, pretty good, pretty good. Fire. Okay, right. Had a good time with my daughter and mom and... Courage. Uh, I... avoided the community picnic. Yeah, well, community been to community picnic? Dark. Yeah, uh, neighborhood. It's a picnic we normally have every year, uh, but it was weird this time. Okay. One, it was on a Sunday. It's always been on a Saturday. And yeah, yeah just, I don't know. I was like, that. Ah, I'm not going. So many new people. And of course, everything falls into our laps, getting tables and chairs, setting them up, you know, cutting the beach, grass, picnic area, yada yada. It's like, you know, so people need, to, younger people need to start stepping in. Yeah. To, to live there. You know, they come and it's free food. Yeah. You don't have, you don't have to pay. And there's like, Crap tons of chicken, beans, I mean, you name it. It's there, and nobody wants to help. But at least uh, at the end, there was people that chipped in to, to put the tables and chairs up. And then it was <laughs> funny. It was t typically the older ones. And the younger people stood around watching them. It's like, really? How typically. Ain't that always the way, yeah. You lazy bastards. Yeah. Fire. I mean, all she had to do was just Fire. help carry a few chairs, and that would have been Fire. funny. Yeah. Power. All the people that, like, just cut and trimmed and manicured the beach and everything else to make it look good, decorated. Thunder. The tables. Oh, that stuff. Yeah, it's just... It, it's rather annoying. Yeah. I hear you. How was your weekend? Oh, well. <laughs> My weekend was... Not very great. Well, the weekend was good. Um, we went to friends on Saturday night, and then we had a party for uh, uh, our friends' three-year-olds. We had a party. Um, Monday was going swimmingly, and then we had a call from school to say that um, Ariella had fallen off some of the outdoor play equipment, um, and she's fractured her arm. So yeah, Monday night oh, we spent geez. like five hours in the emergency room. Um, yeah. So, well, well no, other, sorry, other than that, everything was that. good. Yeah. The, um. Um, broken arms in our household and kids seem to go hand in hand. <laughs> Evan's broken like both his arms and now Ariella's broken one of hers. Well, fractured one of hers, so yeah. Yeah, the only thing I ever broke, I had some sprains uh, being in, in athletics, but the only thing I ever broke was because when I was 19, this 67 year old that would that could outwork out to people half his age easily 
yeah. uh, was playing around and we were kind of wrestling and then he fell uh, went on me and the way my the way he fell right on my legs and that uh, fractured my ankle and nobody nobody believed me with you know it just kept swelling up swelling up you're like give me five walk it off yeah I've, I've done that plenty of times in my life <laughs> yeah i've walked it off plenty of times you know it's like guys uh, trust me uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, my ankle was broken i could feel it when i had to hop up these, this long flight of stairs on one foot and it felt like my foot was spring loaded like it was just going boing boing every hop i took yeah, it didn't feel good and have my foot up put ice on it and it just kept swelling up and they finally yeah. just to, to the hospital and, uh, yeah hey evan hey evan yeah, uh, got, got a cast and all that jazz but other than that never broke an arm my brother did he uh way back when when i was little he was probably like maybe 10 years old or so, I don't know. Get ready. And we were at my aunt's and uncle's house in Maryland. Fire. And we were in a big wheel down the driveway. Well, there's about halfway Fire. down the driveway. It was a long cave driveway. Yeah. Uh, you know, they had horses and stuff. They were, they were quite well off. Yeah, so you, you didn't have people Fire. with cave driveways Fire. back in the day, much less one that long. But... The, the driveway was all the way downhill. Okay. And about halfway down, there's a tree next to it, and the roots had pushed up the asphalt. So it was very bumpy through there where the tree roots were cracking up the asphalt. Yeah. And he was hauling ass <laughs> on the big wheel. You know, the. I'm, I'm sure y'all have those. Yeah. I, I know what I know what you mean. Yeah, like a trike kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a trike, but a big wheel is different than a tricycle. But anyway, right. yeah, he was, of course, you know, too big for it. But he was flying down, hit those bumps, and then went boom, 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 boom tumbled. I mean, he 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 did a magnificent wreck, and then he. <laughs> He's, and then he was like, ah, I broke my arm. And everybody's like, yeah, right. Because he was, uh, uh, he lied about everything all the time. So nobody believed him. And I went yep. in, he kept, he kept going. And I was like, I think he might have actually hurt himself this time. And I went in and told them and all the adults that were in the kitchen at the table hanging out. They were like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> and so I went back outside and I said, Yeah, they don't believe you. <laughs> and then he was like, I said, Just walk your right. Your leg ain't broke. Walk your ass up in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're acting like you can't do anything because you broke your arm, if that's the case. And I still didn't really believe him either. But uh, I mean, seeing what happened. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so finally, he, he went up and they were like, they checked him out and they were like, okay, took him to the hospital. His arm was broken. And yeah, other than that. It's always, one, it's, know, always, it's always that thing though, isn't it? Like as, as an adult, you kind of like to your kids, oh, come on, just dust it off, get on with it. I don't want, you know, there's nothing wrong with you. You're pretending, you're making it up sort of thing. Um, and, and then you actually sort of feel a bit guilty when you find out there is genuinely something wrong. So, um, yeah. I mean, he, he, like I said, he lied all the time about yeah. the Price. silliest thing, so you couldn't believe it. So say it's a uh, boy who cried wolf, isn't it, at the end of the day? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, that was, that was him. He was the boy who cried wolf all the time. Yeah. And just made up things. I mean, he, I'm sure he had, he, he had like ADHD or whatever they called it back then. He was considered, he was considered hyper. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah, he, he did all kinds of crazy stuff. But anyway, <laughs> all right. Well, it was funny. Story time. So, uh, I thought we just did that. 
Yeah, we've got more story now because I just beat the boss. <laughs> Riku. Uh -huh. I forgot that was the Yakram. It's just like mine. How'd he get this? <laughs> It turned into a card. It turned into a card. Of course it did. You do realize that, like, story time doesn't mean death wish story time, right? <laughs> But you said we just had story time. I was like, yeah, but yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> More story. More story. Uh, I don't understand what's going on. Let's just keep There's moving, okay? It doesn't matter. It does matter. How can two of you have the same memory? You can't both be right. I'm wrong. Fine, then don't believe me. <laughs> That's not what he meant. We're just kind of worried. Then let's ask Namine. That should clear it up. Look, we don't Gosh. have time to sit around, so let's Gosh. go. <laughs> Sora, what happened to you? What's that mean? Well, you always get real touchy when it comes to stuff about Namine. But before we came to this castle, you didn't even remember what her name was. Ah, the that return of old Squeaky. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Maybe you should just slow down and think ahead about some of these things. Think ahead? What is the matter with you guys? You want me to abandon her? No, that's not it. Then do whatever you want. You can lay back and take a nap for all I care. I'm going to find Namine. Sorry! Or is losing the plot. Yeah, how about now? You're all that he's got left. I ain't got no squeaks now. So then, if you don't stop this, no one will. But I... It's too late. You shouldn't give up just yet. Say, Namine. People spend a lot of time in the morning noticed? on his hair. Marluxia yeah. <laughs> doesn't seem to be around. That can't be easy to do. <laughs> it's that typical, like, anime kind of hairstyle, isn't it? Everyone's got spiky uh, hair yeah. in an anime. So. Exactly. And it never moves. Nah. Say. Just that there's no one here who would want to get in your way. Just make it count. Now this should be interesting. Try and make it enjoyable, Sora. It's the least you can do for me, you know. <laughs> hey, wait. I'm enjoying this. You guys are something else. Sora, that was no way to keep it to yourself. All right, so, um, Sora's, uh, seems to be losing the plot a little bit here. I guess, um, they said earlier on, though, in the story that, um, the more you progress, 
the, the more you forget. So I kind of guess he's forgetting everything that he went through with everybody else, and now all he can think about is Namine, because Namine's been brought back to his attention, but... Um, yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused with the whole plot of this game. Um, it's not the easiest to follow. But... Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's, um... Go back to where it all began. On Destiny Islands. I'm sure we're gonna get maybe some answers here. Hopefully. He says. Hey, you feel like playing a bonus Brutal 2 map tonight? A what? Bonus Brutal 2 map. Uh... Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Eh, no worries. It's a good map. Uh, okay. Not, uh, I play tested it a few months back and got a lot of stuff out of the way. Workarounds and this and that. But. All right. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we go with this. And uh, we've got time <laughs> at the end. Maybe I'll chuck it in. Sure. Uh, I'm not going crazy, am I? I know exactly where this is. Yeah, this is our island. Where Namine and I, Namine and I used to play together. Hey! What's up, Sora? So, what you want to do today? Hey, guys. Am I glad to see you? Uh... Uh, what? We got food on our faces. Please, Wacker. Only you could be dumb enough to notice food stuck to your face. Hey, whoa, that's a low blow, yeah? I don't know, Wacker. I think Selfie's on the mark. Ah, uh, not you too, Titus. Oh, yeah. You're Selfie, Wacker, and Titus. That's who you are. You hit your head? No, uh, just thinking out loud. I know. You're thinking about her again. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's a total zombie when she's on the mind. That would explain why he's acting all funny towards us. I bet you want us to take a hike so you two can be alone, huh? Um, I guess. Alright, alright. We'll disappear for a while. Go find her, cowboy. We'll try to be quiet while we spy on you. Hey, Sora's serious. Give the guy some room. I'm only kidding. See you later, Sora. No time for Final Fantasy characters here. Alrighty. Now, I don't know for sure, obviously, but I, I got a hunch that we must be pretty close. Getting closing on the end here because we're uh, we're back at the like the final or the we're back at the beginning where we're all starting the first game so kind of makes me feel like we're closing on the end here yeah makes sense uh you got on some article suggestions on Talos 2 demo you've almost read the title of them which could be dangerous thing due to the minus major spoilers yeah, um, I saw Mike was um, streaming the demo the other day, which I... I downloaded it. Have you, have you played it, or...? No, I haven't played it yet. I downloaded it just to download it. Uh, yeah. I think for, for me, it's not as big a deal enough to the uh, demo. A bit of the Fire. earlier part. Fire. Like Fire. for me, for me per personally, it wouldn't really Fire. ruin anything. Thunder. It's not gonna be the huge download for a demo. Is Fifty-five gigs. Fifty-five gigs. Jeez. Yeah. If I remember correctly, it was up there. Courage. Yeah. I think fifty-five sticks in my mind, but yeah, it was definitely up there. That's ridiculous. But uh, yeah. If, I mean, it's not that much longer. Well, you know how games are today. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's some games over 100 gigs now. 
Yeah, I mean the um I don't know how big the the Final Fantasy 16 game that came out not so long ago. I don't know how big the demo was, but they literally released the entire first chapter of the game as a demo. So I can imagine that was um on the larger side. Yeah, I feel like a, a lot of the demos. Fire. Fire. I thought it would download Fire. and convert to the full game. Like a lot of demos would download the full game, but yeah, you know they they have code and it only allow you to play so Fire. much. Yeah. So. Yeah. I thought that's kind of what it would be. But, uh, it's Fire. As far as I can tell. But I, I assume, because you know, you gotta download. Fire. All, you're downloading Fire. all the maps, puzzles, and everything else. That's all I'm talking about. All the attributes of the game. I don't see a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I did did see afterwards that he, after Mike had streamed, I think the stream was nearly three hours long. So I don't know how much content there is in the demo and how much he was maybe just taking his time and looking at stuff. But yeah, yeah. quite interesting that like he took like three hours to play a demo. Yeah, I would. I always wonder that by people's playtime, yeah. how much, like, like between yeah. me and you on the viewfinder, Thunder. you know, I, I have almost 11 hours, you're way less, but I was, like, spending Fire. a lot of time just trying to check everything out, messing around with taking photos and trying to do things. Yeah. So, where you were just kind of plowing through it. Nice part. Yeah, I, I did go back and, like I say, I, I went back after I finished the game and um, played around with it in more detail. But yeah, I think, no, I, I think because obviously we kind of agreed to almost play it to get a gist of it for the, the podcast, it was kind of more of a case for me that I just wanted to get a substantial amount played. So, yeah, I did. Uh, I have to say, I did at that point. I, I did kind of speed up. Yeah, but my runs just to get through the rest of it didn't take as much time on the on like say the rest of chapter four, chapter five. I just kind of for the most part plowed through it. I mean, I still kept around and did this and that and that. And then the the last map, which was timed, oh, it, it was and it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. So um, for anybody that doesn't know the um, hashtag spoilers, the the last le the last level of uh, viewfinder is like a time trial. So um, when Deathwish played it, because Deathwish breaks everything. Um, the timer didn't work so he didn't actually understand what the timer was for and he just sort of plodded along at his own pace which was um kind of mad <laughs> yeah and Fire. very first level of uh, i remember the door when Fire. it first started five minutes. Right. Fire. the very Fire. first level like when Fire. it first starts when you go in it has like five or Hold on. I need to um, let me check my audio levels here because you just very quiet. Just speak again. Okay, I'll move closer to the mic. No, no, I, no. It's my levels. I think okay. I've got Discord turned down a little bit. But I also turned my game down so it, it could hide the squeaks of the chair. No, it's fine. It's fine. I, it was uh, it was an issue from the, the outset. It wasn't. It's not your end, dude. Wow. Totally on me. Totally on me. Wow, that's I know I know audio issues and you go hand in hand, but uh, this one was on me. Dang it! I uh, lost sorry, my, I lost my streak. Yeah. Yeah. So you were saying about um, the first 
door. Yeah, like the very first one when you start and Fire. you're taking taking pictures Fire. and you have like a, a, a city in the, in the sky. That Fire. that part of it uh, I wasn't Fire. actually sure what I was Thunder. supposed to do. And so I was I went everywhere and I got to where it was like uh, what do you call Thunder. it? Uh, What's the movie the, the, the Inception? Yeah. And that I got all the way to the buildings at the end, literally. And I was I was running and jumping across them and taking pictures. And because of the amount of pictures I took going over and being so far away from and I, all I had to do was just go, go to the next door. Yeah. Uh, um, which I didn't really realize. I thought there was more to it than that. I was overthinking it. But yeah. I was like way at the end where the buildings were going sideways in a twisted, Fire. gradually twisting way Fire. to straight up to sideways. And Fire. oh man, the lag got so bad. It was like <laughs> a, a half a frame a second. <laughs> I, I think when you was I think when you was um you was on with me afterwards I think actually weren't you and um I think we uh kind of I did the same thing and I just yeah I, I can totally agree it went it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse until you couldn't <laughs> actually do anything it was crazy yeah it was it was bad and I'm like okay I shouldn't be doing this but they should have put an invisible Fire. wall or something man uh, you would have to have quite the updated machine to do what i did not have any lag yeah but uh yeah so i restarted and then went bam straight to the door and i was like okay that's what it's all about just going to the stupid door yeah i was like idiot i totally ever fucked it But I still, Fire. still took my time and the time, got, once I saw it go past the time that was originally on the first tour when you go in, it, it didn't do anything. It, it was, it was a count up timer. So I don't, I, I assume if you actually did it all within that amount of time that you originally see, yeah. that, that would be a, an achievement maybe. I don't know. Yes. I, I haven't gone back. Uh, well, I can confirm that wasn't an achievement. I mean, it's a, uh, it's an achievement in its own right for breaking the game like that. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's a special DW achievement. Achievement. How's that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you mean it's cloud com, Evan? Oh, I got a, Fire. I got a trophy, Fire. interceptor. Fire. Fire. Uh, only as a, we've only seen him as a, he's only as a card Fire. at the minute. I think. We haven't actually seen Cloud as a character. Courage. I don't think. Uh, or did we? We might have seen him in the Coliseum. I can't remember actually. It's been a while since he was at the Coliseum, so I can't say. Yay or nay. Oh, you're so funny. Uh, you're so funny. I bring I bring the big ones, man. I come I come power packed with big punches in the comedy area. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no hose word here. I knew there's a reason I had you around. <laughs> both show, both show. For the comedy aspect and nothing else. Oh, I should do my stand up routine. Go for it. I don't actually have one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the joke? <laughs> <laughs> well, as well be. <laughs> yeah, we were here. We played the original, didn't we, Deathwish? Yeah. 
So I, I, right, the real story, right? I got to tell you this. I saw Evan was playing um, one of the new ones on PlayStation with his friend. Right, and I'll, I'll, I'll ask you the question, Deathwish. What is the main mechanic of We Were Here? I don't remember. How do you communicate? Do you remember how you communicate? Uh, honestly, hold on. Give me, give me a moment. I, have, I a need to about, have, a, have a think about it. If you can uh, well, I need, to see a, I need to see a screen cap. So. I don't, know so get it from, I, I don't know if you'll get it from a screen cap, to be honest, Fire. but... Have you remembered yet? Walkie talkie. Yeah. So it's walkie talkie, one way communication, yes? Yeah? So only one person can talk at a time. Yeah. Evan's in there with his friends and uh, he's just on his normal microphone party chat, chatting. I was like, dude, that's not how you're meant to play this game. <laughs> yeah, nah. That's not how, yeah, it's one at a time, ban what you need to. Man, I, I remember when we played that game as well, you didn't understand, and I think you was, we was, um, you was trying to, I don't think you realized at the time Fire. that it was one way communication and Fire. you had to press a button to speak. Fire. <laughs> uh, that game Fire. is, now that game is free. Thunder. But the new one. Yeah, just we were here. That game is free. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. We did it as a um, years ago. We did it as like a. It was a mystery stream. I didn't tell Fire. people what we were streaming, but we just kind of streamed it. And obviously, you've got to direct the other person through the level based on what you can see in your level. So. Cool concept. Yeah, it's, it's very vague. I, I mean, I I remember playing it, but I don't remember anything about the game. I remember there was some. I remember there was some chess puzzles. I mean, I'm watching the trailer and it doesn't ring a bell. To be honest, there's always chess puzzles, right? It's not a puzzle game if it doesn't have a chess puzzle. Yeah. Funny how most chess puzzles in games use the knight. <clears throat> yeah. You know. And I think occasionally it's almost always the knight. And then occasionally there's queen. I think I've had a couple. I recall. Yeah, it seems like most of the chess puzzles in, in the games like the hidden object games and that sort of stuff is seems to always use the knight and you have to move it to touch every square yeah, kind of thing. yeah. it's it's um it's chess evan not chest but i'll let you off um, <laughs> all right we've got story time story time story time let me begin by saying I'll begin on a sunny day. Hey, Sora, what's the big rush? I know you. You're Riku. Gee, thanks for remembering me. It's been, what, a couple of hours? Uh, never mind. Are you okay? Are you still under his control? What are you talking about? I get it. You must be the Riku from my memories. Riku from my memories? Sounds like you're stuck in the land of Link Believe. I guess I kind of am. You're such a kid. 
How are you going to take care of her if you act like that? Hey, speaking of her... What's happening? How should I know? Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm going to go warn the others. And I should go... I know, I know. It's your job to look after her. Go, Sora. Okay. Go, Sora. Yeah, there's always a... Um, I think we had this conversation last week, didn't we? About how chess puzzles seem to always make their way into games in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, especially the hop games. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played a hop. I haven't played a hop for uh, for a while. Yeah, uh, neither have I. I just uh, earlier, right before your stream, uh, I opened up Twitch, uh, realized it was Wednesday, and playing my free games. One of them was Hop Game. I have I installed one on my um my phone like last year when I went away on holiday and I just I dunno. Something about playing it on my phone just doesn't feel the same as playing them on my PC. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Yeah, I, I tend to oh, well I use uh I don't know if you use blue stacks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's great to be able to do that or my uh, my Chromebook. Uh, I have a Chromebook that touch screen that I can. It's a, it's, a, no, it's a laptop where if you fold it all the way in half, it automatically disables the keyboard. Yeah. And and it comes a tablet. So, you know. So I, I started playing this uh, new game that I like. Kind of like if you like uh, doors, uh, you know, all the. Yeah, the, the House of Da Vinci and all those type games, sort of, sort of in that realm, uh, but it's quite, quite a bit easier. Just kind of fun to do. Nothing difficult. I'll say the the, the difficult part is finding the photos. There's three photos that are hidden around the map somewhere usually have one that's like on full display somewhere Fire. and then you get a fine the Fire. other two it's like kind of like one one is just sitting on a rock or something right like the second one is slightly visible you gotta move a rock or Fire. something else and pick it up Fire. and then the third one is Fire. typically like, oh there's Fire. a panel then you just slot it Fire. open and there it is and it's like, so it's Hidden. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter what level you're on. They're pretty much. Yeah, it's just randomly difficult to find them. Yeah. And I played it on. I played it on my Chromebook, aka in tablet mode. It's quite cool. It's called. Oh, cats. Cats in time. Cats in time. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and it's kind of, it, it's kind of like doors, like doors yeah. to awakening. So, kind of like that, but much easier. And they, they basically, just, it gets, it, it actually has a few puzzles that actually require you to think for half a second. Yeah. But most, most of it is just trying to find them. And yeah. It, I mean, it, it kind of just gives everything away. Hold your hand entirely. So. But it's, yeah. it's, it's still kind of fun. Fire. And it's, uh, Fire. I think if you have the play Fire. pass, you're, Fire. Yeah, it's free. And, and then I think it could be free regardless. It might get I, I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Uh, but it, yeah, it's it's a fun little game. 
just just the atmosphere and... yeah i mean like i said I, I i downloaded this one on my phone last year when i went away on um holiday um and like i said i just i don't, don't know i just couldn't get into it on my phone it's just really i just find it really weird but i've got like a whole stash of them that i need to uh start playing because i got a load off um uh what's the website called Andy Gala. nope uh, they do they normally do like bundles of those sorts of games is it fanatical yeah humble humble bundle no not humble i think it's like fanatical or something like that oh uh, okay uh, and they always do like a uh, mystery bundles or something so you get like about uh, eight or ten of them in in a sort of single go kind of thing. Um, well, I mean, in the gala and humble bundle do that as well. So. Yeah. So they, I got a, like a a bunch of the. What's up, crazy? How you doing? Hey, crazy. Yeah, I got a I got a bunch of them one time from one of one of one of them I can't remember. Uh, the hop games, yeah. Uh, from from what's 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 the major one? I forget what it's called. Major developer. Um, uh, yeah, I can't think of what they're called now, but I know I know what you mean. Yeah, they like put out most of them. And it's not a developer, yeah, it but it's like, a publisher, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah. I think, yeah, I can't remember. I think originally they were the developers and publishers, but then. They, they, it might even got... be that they're um it might even be that they're um they kind of just have the the engine and the software kind of thing i don't know if that's maybe the then yeah, everybody not, just uses the not sure it seemed like originally they they were the ones that made it and put it out and then it seemed like as time went on you know they were so popular they were Put them out, and I get I get emails for th those those type of games from Steam. Like, hey, this is out, and it's always on discount for twelve ninety nine or whatever. And yeah. I'm like, nope. I just bought twenty some of them on Humble Bundle for you know five dollars. <laughs> yeah, fraction yeah. of the cost. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I, they're, to me, they're not worth. It. I mean, I, I'd pay two dollars for a game. But when you can get twenty some of them for you know, five, eight bucks or whatever, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm good, thanks, Crazy. How how are you? How's your week been? Yeah, doing well, Crazy. Thank you. You're doing well. Um, and to answer your question, Evan, from earlier, um, no, Death Wish isn't uh, much of an RPG kind of guy. I played them, but no, I'm not used to role playing games. So. But I have played some that, that kind of yeah. fit, fit the style of games I like, Fire. or had a type of playability that I like. So. Fire. After that, just like all of them, it took me a while to get there. Or like, uh, the MM massive multiplayer, blah blah blah. That's never been a thing. That, that sounds good, crazy. Good thing. How's the, uh, how you been finding the job? Obviously last week you were telling us about your, uh, the job at Taco Bell. How's all that been going for you? Yeah, love Taco Bell. They just got too expensive. Yeah, I've never played Final Fantasy. I um way back when I I literally owned them all, so I had a collection of apart from Eleven, which was online, 
I own them all from 1 to 13. But then um, my original PS3 could play um, PS1 and PS2 games. Um, and then it died, so I had no way of playing PS1 and PS2 games. So I actually like got rid of my collection, which kind of sucks because now the, the PS4 is actually capable of playing PS1 games. So, um, yeah, the turbocharged rocket engine of the game. No, that, that's the PS4. Yeah, the PS4 is the uh, yeah. turbocharger. Can you hear it tonight or not? Yeah, I can hear the, I can hear the fans. When, when you speak. Yeah, that's because of my um, mic settings Fire. on OBS. Fire. I guess. Dad. Yeah, I'm telling you, speak. Because blank. Silent. And speak. You can hear that. <laughs> uh, no, Evan, the PS5 can't play them. Um, that's why they have the. Um, their PS Classics collection on the store. Heal. Fire. 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 Thunder. And yeah, that's why us real gamers see Courage. Right. Xbox, yes, and Android game, game oh. emulators for all of them. Nintendo games, play anything. Yeah, you see, I've I've not really had much of a choice when it comes to gaming over the last few, like recent years because um, certain individual was hogging my PS4 all the time. So <laughs> can't imagine um, who that could have been. Yeah. That wasn't me. I'm sorry. Fire. You will be shocked and amazed. <laughs> As somebody probably say. Feels like one of those clickbaity stories right now. <laughs> Who hog Knox PlayStation? Click to find out more. <laughs> boy, the boy did it. <laughs> Heal. There. Got Kong Hong. Fire. What do you mean by I got KH? I got Kingdom Hearts? Thunder. Killer homicidal. Yeah, it was a flower girl, Evan, that's right. All right, poor Ferris, have a good one. Make Thanks sure for coming and saying hi, Ferris, appreciate it. Yeah, make sure you play your wordle. What are you up to now? Have you passed 100 yet? Going for my 500 plus record. All right, five more. Nice. Hope you get there, buddy. Uh, have I got enough magic cards? No, I need. I haven't got enough fire cards. Oh, uh, yeah, crazy. Uh, I was going to ask you about that. So, you got your first paycheck? Was it more than you were expecting? Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's a good feeling when you get, get a check. Um, over. Lightning won't work then. Oh, I've got another elixir. Let's throw that in. Which of these cards am I not worth using though? Yeah, I know most most people get direct deposit. Yeah. It's just it's just a term that the uh, Americans use as like a they call it a paycheck. 
So that's why. Yeah, um, smaller companies still issue checks, but bigger companies, yeah, you get direct deposit. That's so just goes directly to your bank account. Yeah, we do the same thing. But, so yeah, we'll talk about being a chain. That's how they work, like any other major corporation. It makes it easier on them, not wasting time on. Yeah, you know, having to print out checks and all that crap. That's still pretty much mom and pop kind of stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. Any any major place, it's gonna be direct deposit. No, it's fine. You don't have to tell us anything. Praise is personal at the end of the day not a problem oh yeah yeah nah you don't need to tell anybody but congrats that uh, should make you feel good about the job you've done and, huh. uh, and, and have you and have you gotten to make like your own stuff yet I could get ideas about. Uh, okay, I wanna, I wanna make like this kind of taco or this quesadilla. Switch it up and put different stuff in it. But I know that happens here. <laughs> yeah, you did a life. Welcome, welcome to the working world. Yeah. It only gets more fun from here. <laughs> uh, I really want that second elixir, but I don't know what card to relinquish because I'm 14 points over. Well, one thing's for sure, I cannot help you. I'll take out one of my zero cards for now. I think the elixir will be more helpful. Your word than... doesn't seem like a good number to me. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> zero has a, a funny property in this game whereby a zero can cancel combo that's being played against you. So if they, um, if your opponent's building a powerful combo that you can't break with normal cards you can play a zero to cancel it instead oh, so okay. they are very helpful useful cards gotcha okay so um yeah it's not the uh they're more useful than they seem on the face of it for sure yeah um, i mean i was of course i was just going by numbers thinking you know the higher the number the well that would make that would make sense that would yeah uh, completely makes sense um all right i'm just gonna take a quick two minute break because i need to uh get a drink so i will be right back and he needs to speak french and go wee 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 no i need a drink not wee wee <laughs> success guys we're right back <laughs> 